70 WOCA. Ocala. Robin, hold on, because this is the fastest 10 minutes of our broadcast week. This, <laughs> yeah. this 10 minutes goes so fast. I don't know exactly <laughs> why it is, but it just does. It just goes too fast. It does. It does. Uh, Anthony James is in the studio, and uh, we love the topic he brings to the studio. He's a travel expert. And he's also the general manager of Homewood Suites? Yes. General manager. See, I got that. General manager of Homewood yeah, Suites yes. right here in Ocala. And uh, if you want to have a staycation or if you're driving, if you're on the interstate right now listening and you're saying, you know what? It's 11 o'clock. I'm going to stop. <laughs> I'm going over and swim in the pool, play some basketball at uh, basketball court. <laughs> right, <laughs> nice. you have a basketball. The, yeah. I, in fact, I think yours is the only hotel I've ever seen with a basketball yeah. net. Yeah. And a putting green. Oh, nice. We just don't give them to the kids. Because I end up with broken windows. Yeah, I bet oh, you really? do. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, they swing too hard? You do. Oh, yeah. When the baseball teams come through, I hide them. That is cool that you have a basketball yeah. net. It's, it's yeah. just it's just a net like for, for shooting hoops. It's not for really... It's play. a court. It's, a, it's like a half court. Is it really? It's a half court. So you play three on three. I guess I didn't look four. at it closely. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. We have a lot of people out there <laughs> using it all the time. I would yeah. use it. Yeah. I would use it. I mean, just by myself. I would just. Do you have? So you have. Mm-hmm. I better say the right word. You have the basketballs. I almost yes. dropped the word basket. <laughs> <laughs> it would have sounded weird. Yes. But anyway, so. Yeah, we have that. Yeah. Everything. That is cool. I mean, you're the only. Uh, did, was that your decision? No, no, no. The, you have some. You have uh, hotels that do that, and it's just got to be at special occasions, especially if you're in like a Cala, which is almost like a secondary market, and you want people to people just want to have to just relax and have kids do something mom by the pool kids playing basketball you build them in situations like that uh, cities won't have them because there's too much other stuff to do mm-hmm. but it just depends on you know if it's the right spot and the right time to do it right right yeah. so what do you have for us today oh incentives. incentives incentives oh what are they yes well anytime you're checking into a hotel uh always ask the front desk or if you're in a full service hotel the concierge about restaurants and stuff like that there's a lot of freebies that a lot of people miss really yes uh a lot of restaurants will come by and give like you know vouchers or free appetizer coupons or uh free drink coupons to have them push people to their mm-hmm. restaurants to eat uh and you just never know what you could find you could uh spas do that as well spas will come over and say you know i'll give uh uh, I'll give like 10 minute massages for, for this or come over they'll have 10 bucks off or 15 bucks off so always check with the front desk and ask them if they have any um, incentives or any uh, coupons or anything like that because front desk gets inundated with tons of stuff tons of free stuff that will make it cheaper for you to go out to dinner or whatever activities are around really I got a card one time when I walked into the Waldorf Astoria in New York mm-hmm. I did not pay I was uh, somebody else paid which nice. was kind of cool and, and it was for men only. It was this card for this place for men only. And when I went to the desk and I asked about it, she said, well, if you want to go there, that's up to you. And I said, really? So it was, it, it was what you, th- it's whatever you're thinking it is, is yeah, what it was. Yeah. 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 And, and, and you want to have those. But like I said, <laughs> think about how many, how many guys just check in and don't even be thinking about that. And then all of a sudden. There it is. Bam. There it yeah. is. Yeah. And it's free. Mm-hmm. They go, I don't have anything to do tonight. They do it. Exactly. Yeah. And, and so that's that's what a lot of these, like I said, a lot of places do that, you know, like a restaurants, uh, attractions, uh, all those places, They because they they advertise, but the bulk of the people stay in the hotels, and what are they there to do? Especially if you're in Ocala, what are you going to do for three days, and right. dad's right, there right. to, or business or whatever. But, you know, a lot of people, they'll Google things, but they really don't, might not know the hidden gems, you know, you know, but having us know that hey this Silver Spring so is you, I mean you as a customer you literally ask the desk do you have any freebies I can use yeah a- yeah and it's, it's not out of line huh no ask is, if, or do you have any coupons do you have any suggestions that's a good idea yeah. uh, do you have any uh, any is there any there's uh, we, we want to go to this place do you have any coupons or anything like that mm-hmm. nine times out of ten they do because mm-hmm. like I said but the front desk and th- they we get so many that we, we're taking care of the guests we don't even really think about them but there's tons of stuff that 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 are given away and like i said to help with Mm -hmm. you know coming down on expenses and the guests shouldn't uh 
be shy about asking or feel no. guilty because you're on vacation and you're paying for services and right. so you should be able to ask for it. Yeah, just engage and say, hi, you know, we're thinking about doing uh, this or we're thinking about doing this for dinner. Uh, would you, do you have any suggestions? As a matter of fact, I do. You know, um, do, you, uh, do you know of any place, that, any coupons for discounts? Just ask. Like I said, we, we all have tons of stuff at our desk. See, I didn't even know that's where you were going. When you said incentives, I thought you meant like the continental breakfast. I always see that on signs. Or right. remember, <laughs> this is going way back, air-conditioned rooms. I remember that being on the oh, sign. Yeah. 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 Oh, you have air-conditioned rooms. Or you have Can you imagine not air-conditioned Conti- at this day? Yeah. At this day? Mm-hmm. Continental. Like now. If you don't have a continental breakfast, at least a continental breakfast, mm-hmm. you're, you're missing the boat. Or it says uh, on the signs, it's free HBO. Well, it should be free something. Yeah. You know, but we're moving into an age, an era where where the things that back in 20 years ago meant something, it really doesn't mean a whole lot today. That's right. So you yeah. should have free internet, should have free HBO, should have flat screen TVs, mm-hmm. should have HD, right. should have you know a free breakfast. You have all those things now. Do you know what one time it said free jacuzzi you oh. go, and the bathtub was the jacuzzi. It was yeah. like, hello, <laughs> this is not a jacuzzi. That was funny. <laughs> or jacuzzi that tubs. Funny. People want jacuzzi tubs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, you, you have to just yeah ask. And, and, uh, Do you have honeymoon suites at, the, at home with suites? We don't. We don't. Uh, because all of our rooms are suites, we don't have, pers- pers- okay. have those. But other hotels would have uh, honeymoon suites, presidential suites. Some probably would have jacuzzi suites. So do you have a, like a really expensive suite? They, they... We have a two bedroom suite and it's literally two separate bedrooms. Oh, okay. Two, two separate bedrooms, two separate baths. Uh, there's three TVs in there, living room, kitchen, all that. How does your oh, restaurant nice. work? Is it is it like only open certain hours? How does that work? Well, no, it's, and it's free. We have a full, free, full oh, buffet sh- breakfast. Oh, I got you. Every so, morning. So I couldn't go there just for lunch. No, I have no, to be no, no. a guest. You have to be. You have to be a guest. Okay. Well, we don't serve lunch either. Okay. So, but we serve dinner Monday through Thursday, and mm-hmm. but it's free to our guests. I got you. But like your full service hotels, like your uh, your Hilton and your your Holiday Inn, they are. You could go in there because they have restaurants in there to actually just go and eat. Okay. And then yeah. we pay for that. Right. You pay yes. for that. Yeah, so you could be off the street, go right in there. My hotel, no, you have to be staying there. <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and we did. We were had one of those meetings for the um, Special Olympics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and I guess one of the one of the people came in with a coffee. So where'd you get the coffee from? Yeah. So they told us we went out and got a cup of coffee. But there was a whole spread that we could have. Yeah. And they said, yeah, you're allowed to take this. It's gone. I didn't pay for it. I'm not no. going to take yeah. it. <laughs> and that's because you all were in the meeting room and stuff like that. So, right. You know, we, right. we kind of. We, we well, and I know because of your relationship with us. But, right, right. But I didn't, you know, I don't ever yeah. do that. There was Halloween time. Somebody had a bag of candy. That's all I needed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, we have candy at the desk and tons uh-huh. of, you know, the next day I walked in, there was candy everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where did all this candy come from? Yeah, isn't that great? But, uh, so does that include incentives for the theme parks? I mean, do you sometimes have discounts for those places? Yeah. Yeah. If, yeah it, I would always ask any front desk, anywhere that you're staying, always ask ask might as well just it's and if they don't have anything then they don't have anything right, but always right, right. ask because there's always something there there's always things that, that you never even thought of or you might say hey i want to go to this restaurant when we get there ask the front desk hey i'm going here would you have any coupons or anything well as a matter of fact i do you know if you're going to go to dave mm-hmm. and buster's it'd be great if you have a 25 dollar off dave coupon. and buster's yeah mm-hmm. we have a dave and buster's in ocala no 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 in orlando oh, okay. that's what i'm saying like okay. things like that so let me ask you this sure okay sometimes you go to a place in, in orlando i'm trying to think i think i saw this outside of 7-eleven but it's like this little booth and it says, you know, either free Disney tickets or, or, or half off Disney tickets. Right. Is that stuff real? No, no, no. So no, how no. do they get away with that? They, they get you in there to, they might have, they might say free tickets. It might say Disney and then it might say free tickets. But the free tickets, not free Disney tickets, but they have oh. Disney. But you could buy your Disney tickets there, but you might. Well, what is their catch? It just, it just. What do they get? Well, what the, what happens is that a lot of people might give them, hey, you know, it depends on how many, how much traffic you have through there. If you have these, give these free coupons out to our park because mm-hmm. you're going to spend money in a park or in a different place. The admission might be twenty bucks, but they say, well, I can, you know, think about it. If you go to the movies, 
Do you spend more money on a ticket or you spend more, more money on popcorn? Absolutely. The top so part. the incentive is to get them there to spend money in a particular place, okay. especially on food and beverage. Mm-hmm. So those are, it just depends on different places. I don't really know them that well, uh, but I would always go in and look and see what they have because they might have, they, they don't have free Disney tickets, but they might have free passes to something that you might not have thought of. Oh, okay. And just just to get you right, I guess I guess just yeah. walk carefully or, or right, be right. Careful. Don't go in thinking that yeah. there's free Disney tickets. So yeah. what do you have? What do you have right now at your front desk? Oh my goodness, I have uh, I have <laughs> incentives. Yeah. Also, I have uh, I have restaurants that drop off free appetizer coupons. Okay. okay. Um, it, uh, free appetizers here. Uh, it might give you ten dollars off uh, a. Twenty-five dollar meal or whatever. Wow. But that's like I said. That's if you you go in, if you husband and wife, you come in there, you spend thirty bucks on dinner, you know, and then you get your day. You got a ten dollar off coupon. Wonderful. Yeah, nice. You know, so so we have different things like that all over in the hotel, especially for the restaurants. Mm-hmm. You know, so and those books that that are at the along the highway, those are like thin like magazines that yes. they're like loaded with coupons for hotels everywhere. Yes, and they're mm-hmm. they're walk-in specials, but also make sure you look at the the. Uh, the fine print. You know, if it's you see sixty bucks for a hotel, and you own, you're driving on Friday or Saturday, but it might be the only valid Sunday through Thursday. I, you know, oh, I, I, okay. I am not. I, yeah. I, I am <laughs> unbelievable how quick this time goes. I, I couldn't believe <laughs> yeah. it. All right, uh, Anthony James, you're amazing. Homewood Suites is where you go for a staycation right here in Ocala. Yes. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you. Well, have a great day. <laughs> Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. Justice Department officials say they've met with the family of the man who died in Baltimore police custody, as well as an injured police officer who remains hospitalized following rioting. This while officials say last night's curfew in Baltimore was successful, but a different situation in Ferguson, Missouri, where dozens took to